What's up guys, it's your boy Ace from AceMadden.com and today I'm dropping my complete playbook breakdown out of the New York Jets. This playbook is absolute hell. This is the playbook I currently use. I feel very comfortable in it. There is something for every situation. If you need to run the ball or have good passing plays for the red zone or pick up six man heat and still have an effective three man route combination out on the field, it has something for everybody. I've spent countless hours over the past few weeks developing this and I've come up with 55 total plays over 14 different formations and there's two hours of footage so there's a lot you're not going to use 55 plays in one game I don't think there's ever been 55 plays in one game in Madden especially not on Mutt where the quarters are kind of short uh, so you can keep it unique you can uh, basically uh, pick your favorite formations I mean you don't have to pick your favorite formations but there's tons of single back formation so if you love single back you have your uh you have your choices there uh you have a pistol formation which is the pistol bunch we have tons of shotgun formation so if you love to just air it out every single time and have some effective runs in the shotgun uh then this playbook is for you i just i made this because i want everybody to feel comfortable in a playbook and i know some people um right now are struggling on offense ever since they kind of they did buff zones in a sense where Deep blues and safeties recognize passes and break on them a lot better. So some people's offenses have kind of died a little bit. Um, to me, it hasn't made too much of a difference on what I do. But uh, this is something that has really helped my offense in the sense that I feel very comfortable using an entire playbook at this point. So if you're interested in the entire breakdown, you can find it on my website, acemadden.com. And right now it's only 20 bucks. It's going to go up to 25 on the weekend. So if you want it for five bucks cheaper, uh, go ahead and get it now. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And for now, let's go into a preview play of uh, the Newark Jets playbook. So gun, wide, trio, offset, weak. This is really a cover two beater, but it can beat pretty much any coverage. I'm going to start off with cover two. Um, and the play is post wheel drag. Let's go against, uh, since it's three wide receiver, we'll do nickel. Tampa 2. This is vanilla Tampa 2. I know people love to use something like a 335 Tampa 2 where they can kind of send four men and possibly get one free. Uh, I understand that, but we're going to be blocking a tight end. So that pressure's dead. Um, and you can flip it. So if they're like, for instance, sending that 335 Tampa 2, you can just block the tight end on the other side by flipping the play. Completely up to you. So for now, we're going to leave him on the right. At this point, we're going to slide protect right if we know he's just playing some vanilla coverage. Like right now, he we know for sure he's playing just vanilla four-man rush Tampa 2. We'll slide protect right. Hopefully what that does is give us a double team on the edge between our tight end and our right tackle. We'll hopefully pick up that defensive end and double team him, take him out of the play completely. Then at this point, you're going to put B on a slant. You can also put him on a drag that's uh, completely preference related. And at that point, we're going to motion our slant to the left and make the user pick between him and the post. So right here, see what happens. And right here, we have the post wide open. I know that's basic, a post beating Tampa 2, but it goes a little bit deeper than that, which I'll show you in the, in the instant replay. So when we motion our slant over, which you can put them on an in route, which will kind of make the timing a little bit better. I like the slant because of the depth he gets, um, but he's probably going to be using this guy or potentially this guy. Uh, either one he'll be using, and the slant in the post puts a lot of stress on him. But the reason the post is so good is because of the corner route. Look what he does to the safety. He takes the safety way out to the sidelines. And, you know, this guy is, he has no help. I mean, this is Harrison Smith. He's a beast. And he's one of the best in the game, and he's lost. He has no chance of making a play on this ball. If you throw it a little bit earlier, he will have a chance to break on it, but he won't pick it. But that that space between the safeties is, I mean, that's huge. Like I said, you can also flip this formation, block left edge heat if you need to. Hopefully you don't have to throw in the run like that. I just saw that uh, left of screen defensive end uh, coming off his block. So I had to kind of get on the move there. Get out of the pocket. Get that double team, hopefully. 
boom pass lead up and take it for a touchdown so that's that's cover two i know it's basic you know post beating tampa two it's not super impressive uh, but this play does beat other coverages as well so we'll show you uh against random gun watch trio offset week and i'll just make my reads on the fly block your tight end same setup i just like how every single route is usable none of them are decoys we can make all our reads here our corner route's going to get open against a lot that's xavier rhodes who has very good coverage and that's eli rogers who doesn't have very good route running so he he has a chance to make a play on the ball and xavier rhodes really doesn't if he's pressing uh he's going to do a better job covering that corner and base align will also do a better job which you'll see online a lot more than um than what we're seeing in practice mode because it's just basic defense with no base line no show blitz so it'll be more complicated making your reads online i get that users are going to make you question your reads as well but overall uh this play is very good the corner route gets open he beats xavier rhodes eli rogers beating xavier rhodes that's a big deal <clears throat> you can also hit you know the wheel route which i'll show you he's not going to beat every coverage or anything but i mean Once he hits his break, he beats Harrison Smith. I mean, that's Le'Veon Bell. Not every running back has those kind of pass catching abilities or route running. But um, against a linebacker, he's gonna win every single time, pretty much no matter who you have. So right here, it's cover two. Right there, Harrison Smith actually does a good job at coming over and uh, preventing any kind of rack. But that's pretty much the play, guys. It's a very serviceable play. You're going to be be able to pick up any kind of edge pressure. So if they're not sending double edge, you can basically pick up whatever side you want and then run the play. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Like I said, if you're interested in the entire playbook breakdown, you can find it on acemadden.com. It's only 20 bucks, and it's going to go up to 25 starting on the weekend. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.